As the global financial crisis broke in 2007, David Vineyard, who was then the Chief Financial Officer of Goldman Sachs, famously said, we've experienced 25 standard deviation events several days in a row. If you know anything about statistics, you know that 25 standard deviation events don't happen even once, far less, on several days in a row. And what he should have said was that we've experienced events that were simply impossible in terms of the Goldman Sachs model. And actually to make a probabilistic statement about the world, uh, when you're in a world of modelling, you actually have to compound the probability from the model with the probability that the model is itself a true description of the world. Our view is that the scope of applying probabilistic type reasoning to economics is actually far more limited than the world we've been describing and the macroeconomic models and the finance theory that has been built on it. When I was doing the consulting business, I had people who would ring me up with questions like, what will the dollar sterling exchange rate be in 2025? Now, the only sensible answer to that is, I don't know. But please, can you give me, tell you why you want to know that, and we'll try and work out something sensible. But actually, that never satisfies people. Firstly, mostly they're ringing you up because their boss or someone has asked them that question, or they need to fill in a cell on a spreadsheet so that they really need a number, even if the number isn't, isn't worth anything. But people will also say, well, there's this guy at some investment bank who will give answer to these questions, and there really is someone there who will give answers to these questions. We need to educate people, including economists, to say that this kind of forecasting is just not possible. When Keynes and Knight wrote about radical uncertainty in the 1920s, both of them emphasised that it was radical uncertainty which gave profit opportunities for entrepreneurs. In other words, radical uncertainty in their mind was the central dynamic of a capitalist market economy. And that's a, a profound insight, we think, that has been forgotten in the decades that have followed.